Hi guys, Sourdough Kathy here, and I just wanted to give you a little peek of what's been going on around here. But one thing I wanted to show you was, if you are in need of getting your potatoes going really fast, my husband had potatoes, we had bought them, they're organic ones, and they had started chitting. So we just threw them in some water until we could start getting them going, and this is what we got. Within two days, they were getting roots all over them. These were the beginning ones right here. And we were just amazed. So this is just one way. If you are behind in planting your potatoes, this is the way to get them going. It only took three days with some water in the bowl to get these roots on these uh, potatoes. So I'm going to take you over real quick, just show you some real quick things that are going on, and then we'll be done. Okay, so here is my one big bed in the back, and I did manage to get in all of my cabbages here, as you can see. On the side boards are the large cabbages along here, and in the center I have smaller cabbages. And they're starting to do real well now. I don't see any problems. We don't have any moss as of now because of the rain we've been getting and no sunlight. So I'm going to move you on now. Over here in the back towards the backboard there I planted my lemon cucumbers and here on the sides I have my zucchini. They're a little uh, they're not doing bad at all. They're doing good actually for the 31st of May so I'm not complaining. I'm going to take you over here my blueberries have started uh, flowering now, which is nice, considering the lousy weather we've been having. And in here, I have two peppers, and back there, and right here, I have acorn squash, and there's also some seeds planted in here, and over on this side of acorn squash that I started. There's a couple of my, those little, um, uh, lilac seeds that I planted. They're not doing great, but they must be slow growers or something. All right, I'm going to take you and show you the other stuff. All righty, so here are my onions, and every one of them are doing fabulous. They didn't freeze. They're making little bulbs. They're doing just great, and I'm so glad to see that, so long as my dogs don't try to jump in there and pee on them. All right, now I'm going to take you to the tomatoes. Okay, because the weather's so bad, I have my tomatoes under cover here, and soon I will be putting them out. And down here I have lettuce and some other flowers, I, the guy that's supposed to build me my um, uh, boxes has not finished them yet. I'm really stuck between a rock and a hard place because I need to get some carrot seeds in. Here's the last tomatoes here. They're doing fine. They're getting little tomatoes on them. And I think maybe you could see that right there, I hope. And in here, what I did do was I... This is just plain box right now, but in them I put seeds in water for um, oriental uh, snap peas, and they opened up, they got their little tails, I put them in the dirt, so by the time I get my things, hopefully they'll be up and I'll be able to just plop them into the soil. Well, that's it for right now. Oh, wait. Uh, my potatoes are now finally starting to come through and I'm going to get some buckets going. You can see down there they're all starting to come up now nicely and these are the two chitted uh, the two pots of just the chits strictly just the chits and you can see they're growing so that's good for me I think that's great and happy to see that it's working we'll see if we get any potatoes on them Okay, guys, that's it for right now. I, like I said, I wanted to make this short and sweet. Love you all. Take care now. Happy Memorial Day. Love you. Bye-bye. Don't forget, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Love you. Bye.